we're doing, we're gonna, um, we're on the other end of this golf course setting up for some red fox that are in the sand bunkers. Um, we've got some cages put out in other places and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we're gonna set these up. Um, basically, uh, I've caught gray fox in these. I've never caught a red and a lot of guys at shows are asking if, they'll, if they will catch reds. Um, I can't honestly answer that because I haven't done it myself. Um, gray fox don't seem to have a problem going in them. You have to really brush them in real well though for the grays to take to them. If you leave them too much in the open, they're not real happy about going into them. They'll run up to them. I've seen the tracks where they run up, they look in, they try to, you know, reach the bait, but then they leave. And then, so what I did is I started really brushing them in real heavy and leaving part of the back, about half of the back open where they could see through it. Okay. And by doing that, they could look in, they could look all the way through. And it's just kind of like a tunnel effect. And it's, they seem to really take to that pretty good. So I'm going to kind of try to do that right here. Um, as well as the other traps that we have set this morning. So what I'm going to do is we just kind of got all this grass and thorns and stuff and I just picked all of it and pulled it out of there and just made kind of a flat spot. We're going to take the trap and we're going to set it back in here and uh, kind of jerk it around and make sure it's good. Now the course they mow right out here and of course they don't right here where the brush line is. So I want that back at the edge of the brush line, okay? Now that's good and sturdy right there, and that's something really important. You really need to uh, make sure your traps are good and sturdy and they don't move around. And basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take some grass, and because that's the natural surroundings here, and we're just going to put some grass up and down inside this trap all the way to the back and cover that pan. Okay. Now that's set in there. We'll go ahead and get the door and put in. Okay. Make sure there's nothing obstructing that. Ouch. There's a little bit of thorns. Okay, now you don't want to block the door. You don't need to really block it down. Um, you just want to camouflage it all in, make it look like it's something natural. Um, I will move the camera around so that you can look down through here and, and see what the tunnel effect looks like as soon as I get this up baited and everything. Now to set these traps, and most of you guys have seen this on the video, you just pick the door up and set it down. The trap's already set. You don't. There's no bars. There's nothing for the animals to tear up. As soon as he steps in the trap, he's already on the pan. Um, he gets in there about 16, 18 inches. That trips off the pan. The door comes down, and caught animal. Get him a bait stick here. And what I'm going to do, as you can see, the top of this, the way it's wide off. That's going to allow me to set that inside the cage and set there and dangle, which is going to get that odor up in the air so the air currents and stuff can take it around real well. So I always put one hanging from the top on, a, on an average. <coughs> and then I just get something for bait here on the other end. Um, and again, this is summertime stuff. So we are using uh, more sweet smelling baits and lures, not so much uh, anything that's uh, real loud or anything that has glands or anything like that in it. Um, 
especially when you're trapping like like we're doing here for ADC work, um, you you don't want to scare pups and stuff, and, and sometimes that's exactly what happens. Okay, now, we got that all set. Everything's good, it's all camouflaged in. Now, you can see the grass right there from the beginning all the way back. And you can see how you can see through it. Probably about half the trap looks like it's open, you could walk through. And way in the back, there's my bait stick hanging down in about the center of the trap and about four inches or so from the back. The other one you can't see because it's behind the grass. So that's how we set these up. They're real simple, real straightforward, real easy to put in. You can put a lot of them in real quick. Um, hopefully we showed something here today how to do this and with any luck we'll be able to show you in the next day or two uh, hopefully a red fox in here. So. We got to get down here and see what else we can get done. There he is.